Hey guys, Targo Cycling FPV, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually got a problem here that I'm working on, uh, and it's kind of upsetting. Um, so I've got, and you'll just have to trust me when I tell you this is a brand new uh, uh, Toolkit RC M4Q, and here's another one brand new, seals, I mean, had not even been opened yet. Um, and so I, I had a customer come in yesterday, actually, and he got himself a full setup and everything, and, and we sold him this uh, charger, and he got home, and he calls me, he's like, hey, look, every time I use this, um, it reboots. I can't use on battery one. Sorry, it's gonna be noisy today. We're gonna be busy today, so please forgive me if I have to go back and forth. Um, so anyways, he gets home, he's like, look, when I plug into uh, port one, and I'm gonna try to make this to where it's not such a glare. Let me just see there. Maybe that'll help a little bit, and I'll try to angle it a little bit for you. Um, it reboots, and so I'm like, okay, let me let me go get one. Let me get a new one and check it out. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm, I'm extremely disappointed and concerned right now. Let me see if I can get this to just prop up so that we don't have all that glare. I don't know. Yeah, well, good luck. Uh, in either case, um, so first thing I did, I opened one up and I did the firmware update, right? Because there was a firmware update on their website. Um, and if you, if I power this off and turn it on, you're gonna see right here, when it starts up, it's gonna say version 1.03. If you can see that, but that's what it says. It says version 1.03 right here, okay? So I'm like, great. Well, here's the problem. So right off the bat, I'm looking at it. I'm going, what the hell's going on? Because no matter what, I'm sitting here with uh, number two here that's got 13.62 volts. It's showing. There's, I mean, there's nothing plugged in, okay? And it's showing it's got 13.62 volts. Uh, let me see if I can somehow... Does that help? No, I guess not. I'll just I'll try, I'll just try to keep it angled, guys. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Okay, so there's already a problem here. So then what do I do is I take a battery, all right? And I'm actually, let me go get my uh, meter here real quick so we can do some comparisons, okay? So first thing is, I think, I don't know if this battery is good or not yet. Let me see, it should be in storage mode, and it is. It's about 45%, so it's in storage mode. We've got 3838338, okay, for this sugar rush. So first thing, let's go ahead. We see that two already has voltage showing. I don't know why, but let's just go ahead and plug this into two. Oops, sorry, let's go like that. Okay, all right, look at the voltage ratings here. Okay, it's telling me 38182837. Now, if you remember, <laughs> let me grab this one. If you remember, I had a customer that had the same problem with this, the HOTA D6 Pro. That was this one. Okay, and it was, sorry guys, and it was, um, Oh, it's just noisy everywhere right now. It's gonna get kind of crazy for a little bit. Let me turn this down. Sorry, anyways, um, so we had the same thing. This one was doing the same thing where it was showing the wrong voltage. Well, we, we helped the customer try to swap them out. But look at this. Now the voltage has disappeared, okay? Now watch this. I'm gonna just change, 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 and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna hit exit. And I'm gonna hold that down, long press it, long press it again, and it's just like after a while, it starts. It should start populating that back again. Uh, I guess maybe this time it won't. I don't know. But I'm going to go back to two. And it's kind of irritating because it's as if all these things have the same crap problem, which means that there's no quality control on these at all. And I don't know how we end up buying this crap, thinking it's going to be good, and then it does stuff like this. So here, I'm going to long press right here. Okay, input settings. Uh, we're going to do power selection will be auto. There's nothing to change there. Max power, fine. Fine, max current, lowest storage, fine. Um, let's see, security settings don't need continuous work, not sure. I don't think we need that at all, but we'll just leave it here. Work completed, it'll end. Balance start voltage is always. Battery selection, I don't think that we have, uh, we could do that as on, I don't care. None of these are gonna really make sense. Uh, okay, uh, so there we go, so let's just exit. All right, so I'm still sitting here and it's still showing wrong. Now watch what happens, I plug in my battery here and there's my voltage. But this doesn't work. So watch what happens when I go to charge it, right? So I go to charge it. I'm like, yeah, I want to charge uh, this one to 4S. I'm going to charge it. And uh, let's see, 4.2 is fine. Let's start. Okay, click OK. First thing, balance charge, we have uh, an error because we have a balance match, a mismatch between what it's reading on the balance port and what we have coming out of the XT60. So let's exit. See, how can you have 16.5 volts when you don't have any voltage here? Now, I was doing this long press and it was actually repopulating these, um, but this is absurd. And I've done the update, uh, I did the update. So how I have voltage on uh, slot one when I have nothing in there. Now, to duplicate what the gentleman did, 
Now watch this though. If I unplug this, and there is one port I think that will read properly. So I put it in three there. See how we have three here? Okay, so on port three, okay, uh, we have our voltage properly done. So if I go to port three and I wanna charge it, I have no problem because all my ports are, all my balances are reading the same. My balance is reading the same, so I'm gonna be okay, right? Now, I wanna stop it, okay? Right, now it's done. Take this out, go to four, four. I got one thing again, try it again. Now I got four of them, but they're reading wrong, right? Wiggle it a little bit, watch. Just barely get in there, look at that, okay? Still they're wrong, but I'm getting a reading, right? Come back to one. I mean, it just, it doesn't work. Two. Now if I hold this button, it is what brought it up before, I'll tell you. Oh, and it's not doing it now, obviously. Okay, so we have nothing. So this this really, for Toolkit RC, um, I'm extremely disappointed in this, uh, completely disappointed in this, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just open a brand new one on camera and see how screwed up it is. Because that's a new one that I just opened, but I didn't open it on camera, so we're just gonna go ahead and open this one, okay? Now, I'm not gonna do the upgrade yet on this. I'm just gonna see exactly how it comes because I don't know what firmware it came with. I didn't look when I first opened the other one. Let's plug it in. Here we go. Okay, it's version 1.02 is the firmware that it came with, okay? Now we're gonna watch it wind down. Give it a minute, I guess. Okay. Oh no, I see which light it is. I was trying to figure out which light was causing the glare. I see it, all right. So let's start with one. We have no reading for the first cell, okay? Let's go to two. We have our readings for two. Let's go to three. We have our readings in three. Let's go to four. We have our readings in four, okay? Let's go back to one. Still missing cell one. Look at that, watch this. Okay, let's try this again. Now we have our readings, now it's gone. The pins are being pushed in. No matter what you do, let me check this one. This is not the same issue as it has here. See, all these pins are actually uh, exposed fully. This one now, if you look, just push that pin in. All right, so it's not lined up with the rest. Pin one is gone. Let's see if I can get that back out again. I mean, this is ridiculous. Now, I still don't have a charge here. God darn it. I mean, you know, you guys make this. Let's just open this up. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm so sick of this crap. You know, you got, and, 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 and I like Toolkit RC. I like them, but this is, this is just more, I'm getting more trash. I'm getting tired of it. This is the third brand new one that's screwed up. All right. And, and the problem is, is I can't sell these to my customers. What kind of crap is this? You can't sell this to a customer. And for my customer that bought it yesterday, of course, I'm going to take his back. I mean, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no fix. I mean, you sell junk. This is not supposed to be junk. But where's the quality control in this crap? There isn't any anymore. And it's disappointing. See if I can get this. I don't know if this is going to unscrew it or not. Uh, let me try a different. Thing. Okay. Oh, goodness. 
this? Can we get something? There we go. So on this one, the pins are just going to crap. On the other one, the pins are fine. The machine just crap. And, and the problem is, is they look all fancy. This is supposed to be awesome. And look, at the end of the day, your firmware 1.02 did better than 1.03. All right? That's, that's, that's a fact, for sure. Now, let's get these four screws. Oops, I just dropped one. Hold on. There, four screws. Okay, now let's see. I've never opened one of these before, but I'm, I'm excited to see. Hopefully, I don't have to do too much to get it open. I mean, you don't have to do it. can't be. I can't imagine they do much on this thing. Uh, it must be popped in here, so let me just see. I don't want to break this, so let's get... We got one very thin ribbon cable that we're going to remove so we can remove the top now let's look at this what we're looking at all right here's the here's the roller this is very much like the free sky roller on their radios here's the pin that sucks right this one so this one when you press it it's going look i can move it it's going it's it's, it's moving just like that so let's go ahead and take off let's see if we can take that out let's take that out and put that right there and let's take off this piece here uh, let me see, hold on, that is all attached to here, which is soldered to here, wonderful. So it looks like we've got to take the whole thing off, that's fine, let's just do it. And I'm curious at this point to see what kind of crap I'm dealing with here. And I'm very sorry to my customers, I mean, you know, it's not, obviously, these aren't cheap, and we, I mean, dollar-wise, they're not cheap, and we expect to be selling high-quality things. Uh, and we expect these companies to be producing high quality things. And unfortunately, I think we're getting kind of duped here. Um, and no offense to, you know, I mean, like, I get it. But this is, when you have all of these doing this, we can't be the first people to figure this out. So you'd think the companies would reach back out and say, hey, listen, there's definitely a problem here. And we want to help you fix it. But no, we don't get that. Um, I really wish this is all I had to do. I may, I was thinking maybe I'll just desolder that. But you know, at this point, with that fan the way it's sitting, let me see. This should do it. I'm just hoping that I can get it all out at one piece because this, uh, I, I would say that this is most likely soldered after it was put in. So I'm a little concerned about this here, but let me just, let me just see. Okay, there's the fan, which is one of the things I was concerned about. Now let's see if we can get this side out. And I may go just turn the soldering iron on just in case, because it tells me this isn't gonna be any fun. All right, let's get the soldering iron ready. I'll keep trying to take this out without it. All right, there we go. So this board, here's the fan. Now here's where the loose pins are. Look at this, look, look. This is crap. I mean, this is just hands down crap. So if you can see that, the solder joint here is, let me see if I can zoom in for you. It's this one right here. I mean, guys, this is brand new. This is a brand new unit, and this is what we're dealing with, okay? So already, I'm just checking the rest of this out because I'm, I'm really curious to see what the heck's going on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do and somehow manage to do this, and I'm, I'm based on the way this is put together, I don't see how it's gonna be possible. Let me zoom back out now, sorry about that. So somehow we're gonna to have to uh, get to this spot and try to re-solder this, but that would require, remove, oh, actually this is, well, there you go. That didn't take much effort at all. You gotta remove the heat shrink that's barely holding on. <sighs> okay, so, from there, let's see what we got. <clears throat> First thing is I'm gonna have to stand this up somehow, so let me get my helping hands. 
just kind of hold this up. Put that in here, put that in here. And I guess what we'll do is we'll try to, we'll just re-solder that piece because that's what we should be doing on a new product. Doesn't make any sense, but hey. Okay, so let me get some solder. Thing is, I'm just looking at the rest of them going, I hope these are good. See, is that one in? Nope. See, it's got, it's as if there's nothing on the pad to solder to. Darn it. There's nothing holding to that pad, so let me just make sure that pad is going to hold even. Let's see. Nope. Still won't hold. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push it through, and I'm just going to try to tin the pad. See if it'll even hold on the pad, which it's kind of scary that it won't right now. And that's getting very hot, so I gotta be careful. There. Hopefully that will do it because now we went straight to the pad. Okay, that looks like it it's holding now. Okay, wonderful. So that's holding. Let's put this, I guess this heat shrink. I mean this uh this back here doesn't even matter. Let me see if I can match it up here. Like this. Eesh, I guess. Okay. All right. Now that's done. Make sure I have this fan properly sitting. Last thing I want to do is put this in the wrong way. Not that is wrong. So let me take that back out. piece is not wanting to stay on now. That's awesome. I mean, it wasn't like it was held on that tight to begin with, but now it wants to give me problems. Make sure everything else looks good. Leave this fan out. And this should slide in just right there like that. Perfect. Okay. Let's see if we can get this now. All right, there we go. Okay, now let me look again at this fan. Uh, these are gonna open this way. So this is going to sit just like this, I believe. Let's get that in there. Perfect, there we go. Okay, everything's in. 
<clears throat> now, we know that these two screws were the soft, these were these ones here. that will go into the heat the heat uh, there so that is probably what's going to hold that okay Okay. Get the best way to stand this here. I'm gonna get my little helping hands to hold that for me while I feed this cable. tell you without my without my blind man glasses on it's not as easy and I don't know where oh they're sitting right behind me if I don't get it this time I'll probably just put those on holy moly come on there we go okay ribbons on go wheels in place down put it right about there Okay, now without putting any other screws to it, right? All right, everything's good. Just wanna plug this in. Let's get our stand here so we can see it. Okay, and let's go ahead and plug in here. All right, so as you can see, We are now getting our voltage reading because we resoldered the wire. So let's just say that that worked, and now we want to charge it. Okay, so we're gonna button. Now, why is my rolling not working? Uh oh. 
Well, I tell you what, I must not have put that in right. So let me go check that again real quick. Can you imagine having to do all this? And record, of course, the customer should be like, screw it, just return it. I don't want it. And I'm like, you know, you can't, you, you got it. I mean, I can't blame you. Let's see if that's gonna work. I don't even know if that's gonna do it. Well, I've now lost the function of my rolly wheel. Wonderful. So that's that's wonderful. There goes that, and it looks like. Uh, all right. Well, I tell you what. We're just gonna charge it. Screw it. I don't care. Let's just see what we can do here. Okay. Let's plug it in. Plug this in. Let's start. All right, now, the concern was that this, uh, let me stand this up so you can see it, is rebooting. Now, with all the other problems, we did see it reboot on this one earlier. Um, and so we're going to see what happens here. See if this thing can make it through a charge or not. I mean, so far this one's doing okay, given it has other problems. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna stop it here. And I'm gonna go here. All right, and here. All right, and here. So now, because of I guess removing this, I put this back in, but for some reason now my wheel isn't going to work at all. Wonderful. Got to love it. Um, all right, so there's that one. Broken out of the box. We soldered it, and now I've got other issues with it. Here's this one. I don't know why I keep trying to plug it in there. It's just ridiculous. Um, okay, now this has 1.03 update, all right, because this was out of the box, totally screwed up. Uh, let's see. Battery number four. Weird values. Battery number three. Good values. Battery number two, stupid values. Battery number one, stupid values. That's brand new out of the box. Okay, but with the firmware update. Okay, so now the question is, if I do the firmware update here, will it screw up this machine? So let's do it. So we're gonna do the firmware upgrade. Okay, and I'm gonna share with you the computer screen so that you can see how this is done. Once you download their software, that is. So we're gonna assume that you've done that. You just go to their uh, website. I'm not gonna really get into that right now, but let me just add the computer screen up here real quickly. So there's the computer screen, okay? And what you do for this one is basically when you download their software, which is right here, Toolkit MQ, then you extract it, which is right here. 
Then you plug in your, uh, with no power, you plug in your unit and you go to, you can do it this way or you can drag this into the folder because it'll open D is the unit. You could just run this uh, uh, automatic upgrade uh, batch file. So double click it and it'll start copying the file. And then you will see when it's done, it will tell you it's finished. This would be real interesting to see if the problems brought with this are firmware related or if they are actually hardware related. So press any key to continue. Okay, it's done. Let's power that down. Let's get back here, unplug it, plug in the power. Now we should see it say 1.03. There it is, 1.03. Okay, now let's plug in our batteries. One. All right, we still have all our readings. Two. We have our readings here. Three. Have our readings here. And four. Have our readings. Okay. So outside of hardware issues here, it does look like now we got our readings back on the rest of them for this is the one. Unfortunately, I have no uh, scroll, which I'll open to fix. All right. So now when we go, and I cannot change this, so um, let me just, yeah, it should, it should error out exactly. I need to plug in my XT60. Let's exit. All right. Oh, I can't scroll. Forget it. I have to go back and fix that. All right, so now what I'll do is, so what we do know, now this one has 1.3, and I can't do anything. My ports won't read. So it's, it's like, okay, one of them you open, look, I mean, where's the rest of my cells? But if I wiggle it here, watch. If I wiggle it, let me see if I send my settings at least. So we're gonna do, uh, let me see, input settings. Uh, let's see. We'll leave that. Let me verify. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna open both of these. I'm gonna make sure they're the same. So let's go. Let's do this. I think I can go back to default. Factory default, right? Yeah, default. There we go. Factory default. Okay. Still don't have it. Still can't do anything. Battery type. Lot of. Okay, that's fine. So there's nothing I can do here. And if I go to this one, I don't have to scroll for what I'm about to test. Put that in. I got my readings. Hit the button. Okay, LiPo auto chart. No, it's exactly the same. Okay, can't can't scroll now because I've done screwed that up apparently. So that's one, two, brand new out of the box. <sighs> Let's go grab another one. I'll be right back. one the first one the customer had it's broken the second one and third one you just saw both of them broken now let's go to the fourth one okay I mean I can't you know this is this is this is stupid but let's try it brand new one out of the box okay here we go let's power it We have no screen. Holy crap, you've got to be kidding me. I got I got nothing. Brand new, out of the box. This one has no screen. Let's try it again. Guys, I'm kind of shocked. I mean, <laughs> okay. That's four. I'm gonna go get them all. Oh my god, this product sucks. This is what happens. You trust the company, 
expect him to have done good stuff. Those are four of them right out of the box, brand new. Well, let's go. This video is now turning into something more than I expected. So we got, let me label these real quickly. We got, cause I gotta keep track of these. So I got this one, no video. That's awesome. What a piece. Okay, no video. No video. Let me set these aside. All right. Is it possible that all of these are bad? Here we go. Next one. Please give me something here. Tell you what, I'm gonna switch power cables because now I'm just getting bothered. New power cable. I can't believe this. Let's take the old power cable out. Here's the new power cable. Plug in. I'm gonna turn the solder iron off. I forgot. Ready? Here we go. Make it happen. Okay. Tell you what. Let's try this. Let's try to do a firmware upgrade since the damn screen doesn't work. Okay. So aggravating. Come on, maybe that'll fix it. No screen. Awesome. Okay, let's put that one. Bad screen. Okay, so we are now, we have four, we're zero good out of five. Zero. Number six. I love these guys that do these reviews and get, you know, like, oh, awesome shit. And you get paid for it. You get free product. Number six, show me something. We got a screen. My God, nowadays that's at Kibonis. Okay. Why this is up to 11.83 volts, have no idea. Okay, that's the problem we have with the other one, but it was on this side. Let's see how it reads. All four channels, wrong. So let me give you an idea. Let me give you an idea. I say wrong, let me check real quick. Should not be 3.1, there's no way. 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. Okay, now it's 3.8. This thing, I swear, this thing is, is kooky. Okay, but let's just see what happens when I plug this in. Okay, 15.3 volts. It never even changed the voltage. Let's plug this in. 3.8, 15.11, not possible. Okay, I mean, actually, that's not true. It's not that it's not possible. That, that could be very well be possible, but it hasn't changed from the screen. So let's see our total here. There it goes, now it's dropping. 15.45. Okay, let's go to ch channel two. 3.8, channel three. 3.7, 3.2, nope. Try again. Nope, so look at channel two. 3.8 all the way down. You go to three, 3.7. Go to four. Okay, does four even work? Look at this one, look at this hero. 
1.9, 1.9. I mean, all right, let's try the firmware upgrade on this one. Because that's all we have to do is time here. All we have is time because uh, God darn. So let's do it again, right? And I'm not gonna change the screen. You're just gonna, you're just gonna trust that I'm doing this at this point because I have to keep changing the screen. So here it goes. I'm gonna run the batch file. It says it's copying right now here, I guess. If you guys wanna see it, fine. There you go, it's copying. Okay, now let's just trust me. I'll wait for it to be done. Done, any key to continue, cool. See ya, go plug, plug it in. 1.03. Oh shoot, now look. Now we just got voltage stuck everywhere. Let's plug it in. Awesome, sucks. Awesome, sucks even worse. Finally something right. Okay, so, I mean, I'll tell you what, and you know what just dawned on me is I'm going to have somebody, I know, somebody is going to say, well, you didn't do a fire safe eject. Ah, oh, shut up. So let's just do this here. Ready? Folder's empty. Close that. Let's run it. Ready? Because, I mean, you guys like to find issue. Let's see. Okay, good. Press any key. Whoops, press any key. There we go. Let's do this. All right. All right, talk to me, Goose. You know you're gonna be working now because that was the only problem. All right, sweet, look at that. Awesome, awesome. Nothing works. Junk. Number four, number, sorry, number six. Broken, out of the box. Number seven, folks, if we hit 100% on this, it's going to be, it's going to be right up there with the um, all line batteries that sucked, okay? Here we go. Now, first thing we're hoping for is we get a screen, right? All right, version 1.02, and we have a screen, and... Looks like we have pretty normal voltage here. Sweet. So let's give it a shot. Ready? One. Uh, let's try it again. One. 3.8, 1.85, 2. 2. 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. Yes. Three. 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. Yes. Four. 3.8, 3. So now we have this one that screwed up. Okay. So let's be fair. First things first. Let's do the firmware upgrade again. Okay, there's my drive. Close that. Do the upgrade, and it's running. There you go, for you non believers. Perfect. We'll do a safe eject for you super geeks that think that's gonna be the problem. Okay, it's currently in use. Let's give it a second again. There we go. Boom. Plug this in. Yes, what do we got? 1.03. Sweet. Here we go, guys. Time to rock and roll. Ready? Okay. Awesome. 3.8, 1.8, 2.8, 3.3. I mean, Okay, so, so let's just be fair. Let's go and see what we got as options. Let's go to our battery one. We know it's a four cell. Okay, it's a LiPo. We want to charge it, yes. And we're going to do an end voltage and current. Okay, cool. So now let's plug this in. <laughs> and let's go to start. Oh, we can't because the stupid ballot port is off. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So what if I hit and hold this down? Because this was working before. Nope. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna waste time. Crap, so there you go. That's that's seven out of 10. And the only reason it's not 10 out of 10, apparently, is because we haven't opened the other three yet. Now, I only have 10, okay? I'm not doing any more firmware upgrades, I can tell you that right now, because 
that's not helping me do anything. Let's just go out of the box, guys. What kind of crap are we getting here? Here we go. Show me a screen. Oh my God, it's buzzing. This won't even power up. What? Show me a screen. <laughs> Piece of shit. Number eight, no power at all. Awesome. Awesome. So really, these last two are going to determine if 100% of these are complete crap or not. Ready? This is powerful. Powerful. Here we go. My God, first we're just hoping to get a color screen. Now we're just hoping to get power. Ready? Come on. Show me power. Where's my little stand? I've lost it. Talk to me, Goose. Come on, you can't be dead. Okay, let's try DC input. I've got something here. DC input, you can do it. Ready? Show me. Yes, we have power. Awesome. So our AC input is toast. Okay. I don't even know if you can plug both these in. All right, so let's just try AC, let's try DC input and see what we got. Hello? Hey guys. Hi. Hey, I'm finishing this video, so give me just, you all come in, but just give me a second. All right, All right so we have 3.9, 3.9 as our reading. Okay, 3.9, let's go to two. 3.9, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. Let's go to 3. 3.9, 3.8, 2.8. Oh, wait, this is screwed up. 2.8 down here. See that? That's crap. Now let's go to 4. Okay, 3.9. So now let's go to our meter and see what we got. Cell 1, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. Okay, let's try this again. 2.8. On uh, right here, okay, and battery number three, right? Okay, so outside of the fact, hey, can you do me a favor now that you're here? Absolutely. Can you check and make sure this power cable is plugged in properly? I mean, I, I assume it is. I don't know why it's in a knot, but just make sure. I'm gonna give you another one too, just in uh, case. It's a little loose, but it's in. It's in, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna check this one out. Put this one aside and go with this one. Nothing. Nothing. Do you see all these? They're all bad. 100%. Wow. So I'm finishing this video. Okay, so this is the one that won't power up with the AC unit. That one wouldn't either. We have no screen. It doesn't even matter. I mean, like, <laughs> this is such crap. So I'm going to keep it as a no power, but check this out. Now will it power? I'm holding it. No, nope, it's still, yeah, I know. And, and I've been powering all the rest of these off of it. I just want to check. So that one still has no power. This one had no power, and then I plugged it in off the DC, and then it came on on the AC. So we have a video here, but now again, this one, 2.8, it's reading cells wrong. The cells, each one of these has the cells that's reading wrong. First one I did, I had to open it up and resolder it because it pins. All right, guys, so we have one left. Now, literally, if this one fails, it's 100% of the inventory. That sucks. What's the over-under? I don't know who's ever making this one. So it, it, it can't be an over under on this. So it's got to be like, okay, so you've got to bet a thousand to win a dollar because it's almost so far all the odds. All right, so here Ten we go. One, uh, so here we go. Where's the quarter? So, so here we go. Yeah, no, I lost last time. I'm not. So, so this is the last one, guys. This is number unit number 10. First, let's try power. Well, that's helpful. I'm holding. Well, like, I know. There we go. So <laughs> and we got a screen. So we got a screen, so that's good. Now we've got this one reading eight volts. 
and then we got one, one, and one, which this is what you saw yesterday, remember, when you were seeing a higher, so let's just plug it in and see what happens. It's not gonna, it's gonna tell you overcharged. Okay, so this one's reading 3.8, 3.6, 3.5, 3.6, uh, 2.9, awesome. So it's dropping in voltage. That's good, that's good, stupid. 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, finally, one of them at least. 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. Hmm, and if I plug this in, what's the voltage I get? 17.3. So even if these were at six, all at four, it would only be 16 volts. Yeah. We are now getting a reading of 17.24 volts. Awesome. 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 This couldn't suck any worse. This is a four plus. Yep. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go to number four. And number four is 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. All right. So again, we have a screwed up setup. All right. Now, to be fair on this 10th one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this stupid firmware update that hasn't worked on nine other ones. But we're going to try it here. Maybe. Maybe by the grace of God, we'll have something good here. Here we go, guys. So let me show you what's going to happen. There it is. We're going to close this drive down and we're going to do the automatic upgrade. This is so pathetic. I mean, it's this is like that lipo test when I did the all line batteries and they all failed. Yes. Well, yes. this is about just as good. I wonder if these are the machines they use to charge those batteries. <laughs> <laughs> because it would make sense if you have the blind leading the blind. Seriously. All right, so it says it's done. All right, guys, this is version 1.0.3. This is the new update. So it's like the improved crap. Here we go. 1.03. Started faster. All right, we're at 8.3 volts still. So we're still showing crap. All right. All right, let's plug in the battery. And here we go. Ready? Boom. All right, so we have each, the balance is showing 3.8. That's correct. But if you did the math here, um, that would not be right. So here goes. Ready? So let's plug in here. Boom, we're up to 17.3 volts. I mean, this is amazing. This battery is more powerful than you can imagine. And if you try to charge it, it won't let you because it's already overcharged. All right, we're gonna go to, let's go to battery three here. Let's take that off and let's go, and we're gonna tell it's a 4S because it doesn't know that automatically, apparently. And it's a LiPo, so let's exit. Yes, so battery three is a 4S, we just told it. Now let's try to charge it. Okay, so we're gonna try to charge battery three. I don't know why it's on one, let's go to three. I'm not charging one, go to three, and it's a LiPo. And let's go ahead and click start. And we can't because the machine's too stupid to add these together. So it gives us the wrong thing, so it says it can't because our balance port is bad. All right, guys, so that is successful. So here's what we've got. We literally have 10 for 10 on crappy product that failed. The, uh, the uh, Toolkit RC uh, M4Q is now being pulled off our shelf. Uh, obviously, we won't be selling them. We will give Toolkit RC a chance to refund us or send us something that actually works. But, you know, I would think that by now, either, I know we're not, we can't be the only people that have figured this out. Um, I'm curious as to why they didn't reach out to dealers like us and say, hey, by the way, guys, we sent you stuff that doesn't work. Um, you know, one thing I didn't try though, hold on, I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna change the camera angle. I'm just gonna try this real quick because I'm curious. If I power this off of, if I power this off of a DC current instead of AC and I plug this in, will I get any better? And the answer is, it's not even worth showing it. It still doesn't work. All right, so they're all crap. All right, so that's it. It's a 53-minute video. Fast forward and do whatever the hell you want to do about it. But the point being is we're pulling the product off our shelf. We're going to go test the rest of the Toolkit RC products now because if they all suck, we'll be pulling those off as well. If you guys have any questions, you can always hit us up. Please follow us and subscribe to us on our Facebook and our YouTube channel. There's our YouTube channel right there below. Uh, if you have any other questions, hit me up at cyclonfpv.com. Uh, most of all, guys, God bless. Be safe and spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have, so we'll go make the most of it. You can always fly and do other stuff like that later. Talk to you later. Bye. Peace <laughs> and bye from... God darn it. Matt! <laughs> Matt, 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 and the, Matt Howitt and the Howitt family say goodbye to you guys too. See ya. This is.